big one three. Your girl is thinking about going back to nursing school. I feel like new state, new year, new me, baby. But you ever get to that point of your life where you just tired of being stressed all the time? <laughs> What's poppin' my pretties, it's your girl Cake, and welcome or welcome back to another vlog. Good morning. It is 6.19 in the morning. If you're new to my channel, I'm an early riser. I get up at 5 to 5.30, read my little Bible, have some mommy time, and just, you know, chill. Half the time I am editing videos because I do work at 9 to 5, and it's easier for me to edit videos in the mornings, like get most of, majority of it done, and then maybe some at my break, and then maybe part of it at night time. It just depends on how long the video is. But anywho, Vlogmas is officially over. I just wanna say thank you for everybody that tuned in to Vlogmas. I'm very proud of myself. I know I didn't do the whole Vlogmas days, but baby, I did what I could. Okay, because if you're new here, we about to move. Yeah, we're about to move next week. And so I'm going to maybe start a moving series. It's hard to move. Pretty sure it's hard to vlog a move. So, you know, I'm gonna try my best to show y'all little things here and there because this is gonna be our first time moving on base. And I kinda just want to vlog the experience and why is my hair acting crazy? Anyways, I really just want to vlog the experience so I can look just back at it. Really me vlogging is like my digital like diary. I like to look back at my vlogs and have these memories and stuff like that. So that's what the plan is when it comes to vlogging and moving. We gonna try. Now the ride from Georgia to Tennessee is six hours. We already went ahead and rented a U-Haul. I'm not working on the 22nd. I am off work from the 22nd up into G January 1st. And then January 1st, I go down to part time so I can, you know, be more present with my content creating and my children. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're gonna see how this whole moving thing goes. I have not been stressed out, not one bit. Normally with moves, I'm so stressed. But you ever get to that point of your life where you're just tired of being stressed all the time? <laughs> that's me i have so much peace in my life right now i've honestly been so happy i did get a little down in the dumps when i was sick but that's normal now your girl's back yeah better than ever i'm just happy and it's about to be christmas and we're moving like what two days before christmas so this is gonna be wild this is where my life gets wild when it comes just to the military and all that stuff I know somebody asked me why I don't like promote the army wife lifestyle on my channel. And I know that sometimes that's other army wives niches. But you know, I try to be my own person and have like my own stuff separate from the military because the military can be stressful. So that's why I don't do that. And honestly, I don't know a lot when it comes to the military. And I know that sounds crazy, but I, I keep it like that and I like it that way because if you know, you know, it can be very stressful. I always wondering, hey, is my husband getting deployed? Your schedule's changing so much. I'm one of those people, I rely on a schedule to keep me sane. And sometimes it just disrupts, disrupts my schedule and it gives me anxiety. So I choose to just, you know, take what I get and mind my business. And then when things come up, you know, it is what it is. But if that makes sense, that's why I don't just go off the army wife lifestyle when it comes to my YouTube channel. And I like it that way. And it's going to stay that way. Of course, I'll share stuff here and there with you. But it's never going to be what you're asking for, if that makes sense. Now, I'm going to be honest. It's been very helpful to get on YouTube and watch other day in the life of an army wife experiences especially with this whole move thing and living on base and just getting knowledge i've got a lot of knowledge from some army wives that that's that's their niche that's their niche so shout outs to them i actually found a tiktok of what our place looks like because another girl had posted it and y'all know i don't be on tiktok but if i need to like find somewhere to eat <laughs> I'm so greedy. Like in a new city or something like that, I will go to TikTok so fast. But 
yeah, I found the layout of our house and you know, she just showed it and it looks good. It looks nice. I'm just excited we're in the house. It's outdated, but it don't even matter because we're going to make that house look like a home. So I'm really excited and I've started packing a little bit. I think you saw it in the last Vlogmas Day video. Of course, we got a lot more to pack. I didn't unpack everything when we moved here because we knew we were going to be here for six months. So it's really not going to be that bad, you guys. At all. My husband is trying to take leave, I think, starting the 15th. So that means he will be off work. I have to work to the 21st so he can be in here doing packing and stuff. Kids get out of school on December 19th. I do have to go up to Armani's school and withdraw him from school. That's one thing with the military, like you have to withdraw your child from school get all like their grades and stuff like that and then take it to the next school it's like this whole paper that you have to do it's very easy but yeah G Gianni's not gonna have to be withdrawn because he's from he goes to pre-k and I did let his teacher know that we will be not returning after the Christmas holiday and what else I'm trying to figure out what else I need to catch y'all up on. I feel like moving to Tennessee is gonna be a fresh new start. I was trying to go to nursing school and nothing was just working out. Like It was a wait list, but I did move down here during COVID. Nothing worked out and I was just like, I gotta get out of this state. I gotta get out of this state. So I'm happy I'm getting out of this state, but I'm saying that to say that your girl is thinking about going back to nursing school. Yeah, I really am. I feel like, New state, new year, new me, baby. And I don't want all those classes that I took to go to waste because I am at my fifth year of having those classes. Then after five years, you have to repeat those classes. And I'm talking about like anatomy and all that. I have all my classes. All I have to do is take the T's test, pass the T's test. I'm a terrible test taker, let me just say that. Pass the T's test, apply to nursing school, get into nursing school. I probably have at the most 13 months of nursing school and I'm not talking LPN baby I'm talking registered nurse RN get into it I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look into it once we get into Tennessee both of the kids will be in school in August and it's time for me to do stuff for me so I was sitting down thinking the most happiest I ever was is when I'm in the medical field I love to take care of people that's my passion even if I go back to being a medical assistant I still have my medical assistant license and I can work as a medical assistant because I've seen plenty of jobs there. And it's so easy to get a job as a medical assistant. That's my goals for 2024 is I'm going to try to get into nursing school. I wish I could find an accelerated program so it can be quick. Granted, they do have a South College in Nashville, which is an hour from the part of Tennessee we're in. But y'all, I don't think I want to drive an hour to school every day. And South College is really expensive. I am fine with going to a community college. It doesn't bother me not one bit. Let me get Gianni up and dressed. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to make this coffee. Well, let me just show you the coffee. I'm going to show you the coffee, okay? First off, I was watching Sherelle's um, vlog. Hey, girl, if you're watching, girl, she made a eggnog latte. And in my last vlogmas video, or the one before that, one of them, I don't know, it'll be so many. Y'all saw that I finally tried eggnog for the first time. And I like it. But Sherelle had made her eggnog latte. It was hot. I made me a cold one yesterday. Bussin'. Of course, I normally always use Stoke coffee. You throw some of this eggnog up in there. And this is the vanilla spiced non-alcoholic i got this at walmart throw this up in there with some sweet cream creamer so good i just threw a little bit up in my coffee yesterday and i was like oh chow so freaking good so yeah you go get you some you try it and let me know if you guys will like it or not but i need to get gianni up for school real quick and Armani, I hear him. He's up. He's in the shower. You know what is so nice? The fact that I don't have to even wake him up anymore. He just gets up by himself. He's an early riser like his mama. Oh, and in this vlog, that's what I was coming on here to say. To say. To say. Armani's birthday is Friday. Today is Wednesday, if I didn't say that. And he's going to be 13. Y'all, I'm having a 13-year-old. I have a teenager. Do I look like I can have a teenager? <gasps> No, and I didn't have him in my teens either, just so y'all know. I had him when I was 20. You do the math on how old I am. <laughs> but 
Also, my birthday is coming up next month and I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I never do anything for my birthday. I know that sounds crazy, but both of my kids have birthdays. Gianni's is in November, Armani's is in December, and then it's Christmas and I just never have time to do anything for myself. But y'all, I'm gonna be 34, I think. Yeah, I was telling people my wrong um, age for the longest, baby. I was, we're not gonna get into that. But yeah, your girl gonna be 34 and I'm gonna have a 13 year old on Friday. This is wild. So in this vlog, we are gonna go get like Armani uh, birthday card because I'm gonna just put a little money up in there. And we are going to eat. And a couple of, of people that live down here are coming with us. He wants to go to one of those like Japanese places where they cook in front of you. So we're gonna do that on Saturday. His birthday's Friday, but I figure we do it on Saturday because when I get off work, I ain't trying to rush. You feel me? I need to get him a cake, but I don't know if he wants me to bake him a cake because I normally bake him a cake, but he wants me to buy it. So I'm gonna ask him what he would prefer me to do, but I know he wants a vanilla cake with chocolate icing. So I need to try to find one of those. In this vlog, we'll do that. It's probably gonna be dark as heck outside because when I get off work, it's dark. But yeah. Anyways, let me go get Gianni up real quick. And then I'm gonna edit until I have to clock in to work and I'll probably check in with you guys later. It is currently what time is it? 739. I'm gonna clock in in a minute. I told y'all I'd come back on camera what my hair is doing. I left my wine curler at my dad's house in North Carolina and I'm not buying another one because I'm just gonna get that one around Christmas time and call it a day. You feel me? First off let me say I've been watching people's vlogs. I feel I feel very overstimulated from watching everybody vlogmas videos and trying to keep up. <laughs> so I wonder if my subscribers feel like that when they're trying to watch everybody's vlogmas videos because baby not everybody does vlogtober i'm gonna attempt to do it next year but vlogmas you know the girls coming through for vlogmas so i've been trying to keep up with everybody's videos and i cannot keep up like shout out to y'all for posting who are posting y'all doing y'all's big one because i can't even keep up with all the vlogmas videos so while i'm working i'm gonna watch people's vlogmas videos that's what i've been doing while i work i was watching naturally sunny's video the other day or yesterday i'm talking about the other day yesterday and she had went and got chipotle and then I watched I Am Shelly, and she had got Chipotle in one of her vlogs too. Baby, I've been craving Chipotle so bad, like real bad. I was going to make Chipotle at home last night, but I kept telling my husband, I want Chipotle so bad. And he was like, just get it, because you've been talking about Chipotle for like a freaking month, and you haven't went to get it. We went on base yesterday because my husband had a basketball game. Third time I've been on base since living here. I've been here for six months. But we went on base went to his game it was like over at like 7 30. i dropped him and the kids off and i went to chipotle got me just a bowl and y'all why the freak is chipotle so expensive now like i probably haven't had chipotle in like a year i didn't even get a drink i just got the bowl that i get i get like a steak bowl with a little bit of guac a little bit of queso rice cheese the lettuce, the salsa, mild. And I got some chips on the side. My total was $20.20. I was like, mm. that's why I should have made Chipotle at home. But I did get my fixing and it was very good and it did not tear my stomach up. Like, does Chipotle tear y'all stomach up sometimes? Cause I remember it used to do that, but maybe I was so hungry last night. Like y'all, I was fiending. I was so hungry. I tore it up. I'm gonna eat the rest for lunch today. Mm, I cannot freaking wait. But ever since I'm starting to get my taste buds back, y'all, I've been so hungry and craving stuff. Like, I really can't taste chicken like that. I tasted that steak last night, though, and it was fire. But I don't know, and I'm craving salty stuff. And normally when you like that, you're a little dehydrated. I'm not dehydrated at all, cause your girl drinks a whole lot, a whole lot of water during the day aside from watching everybody's vlogmas videos and supporting everybody is that i am going to look at renter friendly diys 
I have been got to show my DIY side on my channel, which I've said this before, but your girl is the biggest DIYer in the world. And I know I'm gonna need some furniture in some of the places or some of the spaces in this new house that we are moving into. Sorry, I just was daydreaming. <laughs> And this new place that we're moving into. And so I'm trying to get some ideas. I'm trying to get some inspo. I'm trying to figure out what's my style. Because my style used to be a lot of boho. But I'm not in that boho era anymore. I love neutrals. But I know people are starting to bring dark moody into designing. And I think I like that aspect. But I do like, you know, the light, the light and airy. But as far as like walls being white... I don't want white walls anymore so I'm thinking about like doing accent walls in our place with wallpaper that's what I'm thinking about doing and we have two and a half bathrooms so I have like a powder room in our house and I really want to quirky and just different in the powder room that we will have. I don't know if y'all know this about me but I constantly watch renovation videos, people just renovating houses, painting houses, designing. That's what I hope to do maybe later when we get a house. When do we get a house? Because y'all, I'm going to be painting and doing all types of stuff. And like I said, I want to start furniture flipping. So I need to start actually saving money to buy tools that I need to furniture flip. Lighting in here sucks. But good morning you guys happy friday today is armani's 13th birthday decorate his door i'm about to show you real quick because he's not up yet yeah just something so light and i'm gonna show this is his cake you guys isn't this cute and I just put that right there. And I just put this birthday sign up with big one three. I'm going here and show you guys that. I'm going to put y'all in the cabinet. Y'all, I have been slacking on making lunches at night. So I have to make their lunch right now. I didn't really record myself decorating because I got a feeling this vlog is going to be so long that I might not be able to include everything that I want to include in here. So I was like, I'll just show them the final look because um, we are going to eat at a Japanese restaurant tomorrow because that's what Armani want to do for his birthday. But yeah, I just want to come here and check on or check in with you guys. I have to make lunches, get Gianni up, Armani you know, he's going to get up by himself. And I have to take both kids to school today because my husband's last day of, like, school is today. And he's having, like, a little ceremony. I'm not going because I went to his, like, big ceremony. He said this ceremony is going to be small to the point. I don't really have anything planned today except for myself working and packing. But that's in a different vlog. As you can see, I already have boxes. <laughs> Your girl's been packing. So if I do something else later, I will hit you up. If you're new here, my 13-year-old. Can't believe I'm saying that. I am getting up there. But my 13-year-old doesn't like to be on social media. And he doesn't like to be on my vlog. Every now and then, you might see a glimpse of him. But he has voiced that to me. He's kind of shy. So I respect his privacy. So yeah, we, I won't show his reaction or anything. But um, <clears throat> I'll vlog when we go to the Japanese place. Tears falling in my bitch face. Now she forever trying to show me how that shit tastes. Ain't really been dropping. I've been trying to get my shit straight. Had to set my prices. 20 mil for every mixtape. Party in every night. Don't do it for me. I'm trying to get cake. Level up. Filling hundreds up all in my big safe. I said enough. I said it again. I'm trying to wet him up. Thinking with his dick. I'm getting a pretty bitch to set him up. It's better than the better us. Never them. Forever us. And every M I ever touched, I multiplied it, doubled up. I know life man, Should I divide to see my brother up? Some got in they feelings deep inside, but never bring it up. And all I did was fuck shit up. I told niggas that these hoes ain't got no love for us. I told niggas that these raps don't really fuck with us. The waves all they want from us, like it's made for only one of us.
us some stress when all that other stuff for real. I know hanging deep off in the trench to get me killed. But I get a rush from it, love the way it feel. Hang around the vultures, knowing this rich cost a mill. Hold up, let me take the wheel. Say it paid the cost to be the boss, so I expect to pay the bill. Should I expect to do some favors, but I expect to keep it real. And I'm expecting them to hate me where I shine a shit for real. But I ain't respecting niggas falling by no money, y'all know girls and giving. Bad bitch faces, I got money out this world, and I be shining like a star. On top of that, they know I'm throwing my niggas. Lock around the bars, on top of that, I'm paying bills and paying pills for all my niggas that got life to start to